You have 600 lawyers. Uh, we have more than that. Well, so I, I saw, I see 600 lawyers and then more than 10,000 volunteers, right? The number of volunteers is way, way higher Even bigger. Than that. So you've worked on a lot of campaigns. I have. But this is significantly greater in scale than anything I've done before. I must say something about your degree of concern about the possibility for voter suppression, other forms of mischief, both pre- and post-election. We already have an electoral infrastructure, a voting system, that is not always adequately resourced or supported. You take that system, you layer on top of it a pandemic. You layer on top of that disruptive behavior by one of the major political parties whose president spouts this kind of nonsense, and you add on top of that the role that internet distributed misinformation plays. And that just means that the task that you have to address these contingencies is much larger than it's been just as a structural matter than any time in the past. Is there any doubt in your mind, as we sit here today, that Donald Trump is planning to, and in fact is already attempting to, steal the election? He talks a very aggressive game, but there's a real, real need to separate out reality from fantasy. He's not going to be sending troops to polling places. That's not going to happen. And frankly, I'll tell you that there are agencies that he imagines under his command whose members understand they have legal liability if they follow illegal orders, and they won't do it. We've seen this rise in militia activity personified by the Whitmer case, but it's kind of all over the country. Are you worried about armed militias at the polls on election night? Well, I would point out the plotters are in jail. They were surveilled for months, and then they were arrested. I think if any group anoints itself as the keeper of the peace at these polls and steps out of line, I think you're going to see in red states and blue states a ferocious reaction. And people who do this are going to wind up like the plotters in Michigan in jail. That's what's going to happen. So here's a hypothetical. It's election night, and Donald Trump announces that there's problems with the, with the ballots, problems with the polls in Florida and he sends federal marshals to, to Dade County to start impounding ballots. What happens if that were to occur? He may issue an order. He may rage from the balcony right. of the White House about uh, his political misfortunes and look for someone to give him a magic answer. Yes. And he will not succeed in issuing an effective order to have federal marshals go to the polling places right. and impound ballots. It won't happen. Now, he I'm not saying it. he won't he say it. He can't do it because what? He does not have this absolute legal authority that he craves. Right. We still are a country with constitutional and legal limits. Well, what's the constraint, Bob, on him ordering federal marshals to go and impound ballots? A whole ballots? host of constraints. I don't want to uh, flag for you right. the basis for my confidence, but let me just be very clear. He's not sending federal marshals to impound mail ballots. He will not be able to do it. Just trust me on this one. You feel confident there are legally enforceable actual constraints, whether they are- Absolutely. Legislative or otherwise, but there Absolutely. are like genuine impediments, not, not nope. normative impediments, not philosophical Absolutely impediments, not, not normative, ethical no. impediments, no. but legal impediments. We will not impediments. be appealing to him to mind his manners. We right. will block him yes. from doing it. Right. But it is the case that given, again, given the size of the phalanx of lawyers you guys put together, you are, if not anticipating, you are prepared for a more elaborate scenario you guys are like ready to roll where there's legal conflict in the post-election period. As of the day that you and I are speaking, we are staffed up and ready to go. The planes will be on the tarmac the day after election Absolutely. day. With Absolutely. The, with the motors running. Yes. Right. No question. Do you think that's where we're going to end up? No. Because? I'm very confident that we'll have an election. Voters will vote and we're going to have an outcome. And it will be a legitimate outcome no matter what Donald Trump says. And I can promise you that should he attempt to disrupt or undermine the election, he will fail.